Hope you had a good Thanksgiving weekend. That was right after the last video that I put out. Mine was driving turkey with everything. It was awesome. Driving, sleeping. Driving, 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 ham. Sleeping, barbecue. Sleeping, driving, driving, driving. Stuffed like a tick. Hi, welcome to Canna Spader Christmas. I uh, hope you had a nice Thanksgiving and I hope your displays are up and running. If they're not, you still got some time. I uh, hope you enjoyed the music videos that I put out and we're trying to get back into the normal kind of video things again. So I wanted to do a quick video on the outside the display as it is at night and give you a little uh, stats on each prop and all that kind of stuff. I'll start off briefly with my prop naming convention. This is Fence 2 or Fence Space 0 2. Uh, it should actually be Fence 1 to name from left to right, so I do have some renaming to do. The reason I follow that convention is because you can sort everything in X lights and short names with uh, number lines everything up neatly. If you're planning on having more than 100 similarly named props, you may want two zeros in front. At least put one zero in front until you get to 10 so you don't have to go back and rename everything like I do. Fence 2 is 175 pixels running at 30%, no power injection. It's mounted to 1 inch EMT with wire ties on each node. I did try hot glue but that didn't bond well with EMT. Fence 1 is 150 pixels at 30%, no power injection. It goes around the front yard. It's basically rebar pounded into the ground with a half inch PVC cut at about 12 inches and wrapped with red electrical tape to make it look like candy canes. I space the poles out every 10 pixels so there's a consistent bow at each segment. Wreath 2 is 114 pixels, rings of 34, 30, 27, and 23. It's running at 30%. Uh, power is connected at each ring. The frame is uh, two pieces of 90 degree aluminum stock anchored at the center and I'm using wood blocks to maintain the spacing between the rings. Wall washer one is 120 pixels running at 100% brightness. Uh, power's injected at the end of the string. This one was a disappointment. It, it probably would have been fine on its own, but the other pixels are making it too difficult to see. So this experiment probably won't survive the season. Uh, plus, I already have ideas to replace this prop. Arch 1 is 48 pixels, running at 30%, no power injection. It's modeled after Matt Johnson's arches with the addition of the 2x4 feet that will fold up underneath for storage. Tree 1 is 1200 pixels. It's a 360 degree tree, running at 30%. It's 12 strings of 100 folded over at 50, so that it looks like 24 strings. Uh, it's an 8 foot base and it's about 15 feet tall. The P10 sign is made up of four panels with a BeagleBone Black running Falcon Player plus a Sandevices E6804 running the Pixels in the Globe. I did find a place for a concrete base so it will sit here for eternity. We have a Dalmatian inflatable. Arch 2 is 48 pixels running at 30% no power injection. Same design as Arch 1. Window 1 is 72 pixels, running at 30%, no power injection. And Window 2 is 82 pixels, running at 30%, no power injection. Wreath 1 is 288 pixels, running at 30%. Uh, power's connecting at the start, end, and the middle. Pixels are mounted to a 4 foot square piece of, I believe it's 3 16 inch acrylic that I got from a local plastic supplier. A friend drew up a design in Adobe Illustrator and I had that template uh, printed at a local map and blueprint printing shop. I drilled eighth inch holes through the template to make sure spacing was correct and then used a stepper bit to widen the holes out to a half inch. Door one is 158 pixels running at 30%, no power injection. Uh, it also surrounds the window up there, but I had to pick a name and went with door. 
And next to it, we have a Snoopy inflatable. And finally, door two is 115 pixels running at 30%, no power injection. This concludes our night tour of the display. Okay, we had a little event last night that we don't normally get here in Texas, and that is we got snow. Yeah, it, it was Texas snow, so, you know, whenever that happens, all the local news stations speak of the snowpocalypse that's happening, and primarily because we don't have any equipment to deal with icy streets, and that's usually what we get here is ice on the streets. And even if there's like a micron of ice on the streets, the whole place just shuts down because we just can't deal with it. I think we're in something called an El Nino weather pattern where it's either it's either drier and warmer than normal or it's much colder and, and wetter than normal and I can't remember which one. It's catastrophic either way. But don't worry about us. We're going to be fine. We have provisions uh, to take, you know, to tide us through and uh, i you know if the national guard needs to come out with with tanks to deliver supplies then i'm sure they'll do that but uh realistically i, th I think we're going to make it okay i was able to dig my way out and capture some of these images for you i, I hope they're not too disturbing but they do show some of the havoc this storm is causing Glad that's over. That's about it for this week. Uh, Snowpocalypse is over, and I think we're going to be in the 70s again soon. So, you know, who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. And all the dogs run. So many cars going back.